Welcome back, friends and followers, haters and hollerers. Uh, part two for the solar install project update. We have made a lot of progress, but you know those projects that seem to only take a half an hour in your mind, seem to take two or three days in real life. Well, welcome to my, my world on sailing vessel airspeed. Um, all very rewarding projects, so I'm not complaining. So I'll flip the camera around and show you what what we've done, uh, what the what the uh, progress is so far. So as promised, we have these rails that are one inch by two inch by one eighth inch thick, and I've mounted them on the panels themselves. You can see here, and it might not seem like a very big deal. I mean, after all, it's only four bolts and. You know, why is that such a big deal? Why is this taking so long? It's taken so long because you need to make it so that all of the holes line up absolutely perfectly when you put the um, mostly assembled product up onto the arch. And the only way to do that is to drill the holes in the arch tubes first, um, up top, like so, here and here and on the other side. And of course you have to do that while the, the uh, truss, the rectangular tubing is not connected to the solar panel because you need to drill through the top and the bottom and then you need to drill through the frame of the solar panel itself. And so I've elected to mount the solar panel to the trusses and then to mount the entire assembly to the arch. So really there's going to be four bolts securing the solar panel to the trusses and then an additional two bolts will excuse me an additional four bolts will secure the truss solar panel assembly to the arch and that's per panel so we're looking at a total of 16 bolts 16 holes and everything needs to line up perfectly so i just showed you the dock and there's only one panel on the dock and that's because we have already begun the process of fitting the second solar panel up on the arch. And believe it or not, the holes that we have drilled so far line up absolutely perfectly. Very, very pleased. And I'll show you a close up of how, how it's installed so far. So I fitted the starboard outboard truss with pre-drilled holes. This truss is fixed to the panel itself. And then this whole assembly here is temporarily fixed to the arch through the holes that I've already drilled. The problem is you can't really reliably do that on the other side at the same time just because measurements are never accurate and there's always a little bit of jiggle factor because we need to make the holes a little bigger here so that um, you know the tolerances aren't too tight because you know like we said in another video the um, probability of everything being perfectly symmetrical and, um, and true is just very, very low. So now what I've done is I've marked here the center line um, and I've taken a piece of pipe. I don't know if you can see this on the video. You can see this line going this way. I've taken a piece of pipe here and on the other side up here and I've, I've uh, scribed a tangent line. It's essentially a single point and then on the top side, I've scribed a similar tangent line so that we have opposing holes so that we have a straight, uh, straight shot. Because once again, you just can't hold the drill perfectly straight. I wish I could. So the next step now is to drill some pilot holes and um, get the, the arch tubing drilled out for this side of the panel and then to take the panel, move it off, and then I have to take the truss off of the solar panel so that I can properly drill it out so that we can run our bolt through here, through the top, through the bottom, and through the top here, and uh, bolt it off. And then this one will be done, then we have to repeat on the next one. 